Alright. Alright, come on, Ray. Come on. Come on. Go. Guys, sorry about that. I had to do a little juggling act. It's got it's decided it wanted to rain, so on top of all this snow. And it's warm enough that he doesn't really need his boots on. Alright, good morning everyone and welcome to another edition of Walk with Regis. Today is January 9th. Today's weather will be low 40s. 76% chance of rain slash snow. Where are you going? I don't know what he is doing, but... Where are you going? Your walk is the other way and you're wading through all this snow which defeats the purpose of not wearing your shoes. Come on. Come on, weirdo. I thought you were picking a spot to pee. You did all that for nothing? Turn it towards the wind. The wind will push it back. Towards the wind, not away from the wind. Why are you going backwards? We are not walking that direction. He probably smells food and he's probably trying to hunt it down. Come on. <sighs> Looks like this is going to be one weird edition of Walk with Regis. Here, if you just uh, hold this. Hold this. No. You see the umbrella? Pull it up. So I only got like three news stories of this already bizarre and odd edition of Walk with Regis with all this wet slushy weather. Let's see. News story number one. A 25 year old man has been shot and injured in what appears to be an apparent home invasion. Like, that's literally it. That's the only bit of news I was given as to this home invasion. I guess you want to live out here in this cold, snow, rain, slushy weather because you're just like... Good boy. I haven't seen you lift your leg to pee in a while. Most times you just squat and pee. 
pee like a girl, be a man. <laughs> oh, here he goes, a million shakes in one walk. Every five seconds he's gonna shake. So yeah, that was the last article that I decided to read for News 4. I remember telling you guys about my issues with News 4 Buffalo and how they'll post an article, but then they'll have these square brackets with the three dots and I can't click on them or read source to find more information. And it basically only gives me like one little paragraph out of the entire news story. So, I went to the settings of my news app, and I blocked all articles from News 4 Buffalo. Today, we broke up. I'm sick and tired of it. They're not really reporting anything. They want you to pay for it, and I, I think information should be free. That's me. That's why libraries are free. Okay, so then the other news articles that I have today are a little restaurant called Sophia's Restaurant is planning a huge expansion. I guess they've been doing well enough that they can afford this huge expansion. I'm glad for them. I'm just sorry for all the other restaurants that had to go, like Lake Effect Diner and Aunt Robin's Diner. I got to know the lady who ran Aunt Robin's Diner, and she was incredibly nice and sweet. And it was really sorry to see her have to close her doors. But yet, this place must be booming enough to well, be able to afford this huge expansion. Good for them. And the next article. Last, uh, the last news of the day is not a local news, but... I felt sad enough to at least comment on it. Sinead O'Connor's 17-year-old son went missing for two days with the singer pleading for his safe return only to find his body two days later after he had decided to end his earthly existence. He was only 17. I mean, what could he have gone through in 17 years of life that was so miserable for him that he just decided to end it? That's okay. If he wants frozen paws, I'd let him. He likes to go to the trees, and I know that. You know we're not going that direction, right? Good boy. Come over this way. And that's it for the news, guys. Yeah, I just felt really sorry that poor Sinead O'Connor lost her 17-year-old son to a parent suicide attempt. Or, not attempt, but parent suicide. Come on, weird. Oh, yeah. Had a guest walker. I have been having somebody walk with me this entire time. Sorry, guys. This has been one weird-ass morning. <clears throat> Probably going to continue to be a weird-ass day. That sounded like you said Choco Pecker. Choco Peck. Oh. I was like, why is he talking about a chocobo you know what? They don't have any. How do you know? Because they're chickens. Oh, yeah. Um, that's right, because uh, some birds actually do have them. We're not talking about ducks. Ducks aren't the only ones. Although ducks are the most famous just because it's corkscrew and explodes outward. Alrighty. That's it for this episode. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't, you can hit the dislike button. It don't bother me any. Share if you want to. Subscribe if you want to. We will see you guys tomorrow.